Hello and welcome to this lecture. In the previous lecture, you have understood how to delete the last node from a singly linked list and in this lecture, you will write a program in Python for it. To our singly linked list.py file, we will be adding a new method to the linked list class which does it for us. So as of now in this linked list, we have three nodes, John, Ben and Matthew and let's execute this program to see how they look like. So that would be python3 space the file name which is singly linked list.py and we have the output as John, Ben and Matthew. So in this program, what we want to do is create a new method called delete end, which will delete this particular node Matthew. So let's see how to do that. Our linked list class will now have a new method called delete end linked list dot delete end. Now, unlike the insert methods of our linked list, the delete method will not have a node as a parameter. As soon as you call this method, it has to delete the last node. Let's write this method. Define delete end. Now what this method should do is traverse till the end of your list and delete the last node. So in order to traverse the list, let's take a temporary node. Let me call this one as last node, which will initially start from the head node. So we want to check if the last node's next is none. If the last node's next is none, it means that's your last node and you should delete that node. So while your last node's next is not none, then you advance to the next node. So that would be last node equal to last node dot next. So initially, this is how our linked list looks like. We have a head node, which is John and the next of John points to Ben and the next of Ben points to Matthew. So initially, the last node points to your head node, which is John. Now the next of John is not none. So it enters the while loop and it advances to the next node, which is Ben. Now the next of Ben is not none. So it advances to the next node, which is Matthew. Now the next of Matthew is none. So it breaks the while loop there and we now have the last node. So let's delete the last node and see if it works as expected. So that would be delete the last node. And now let's go back to the program and print the list at the end. Yes, that's done. So let's save this program now. Let's go back to our terminal and then execute this. Now on execution, we see that Matthew has not been deleted, even though we specified delete the last node. So why did that happen? Now, in order to understand this, we should understand how the nodes are being stored in memory. Let's assume that the first node John is being stored at the address of 100, the second node Ben is being stored at memory address 200 and third node Matthew is being stored at memory address 300. So when we say the next of John points to Ben, the next of John has the address 200 which is the address of Ben. Similarly, the next of Ben has the address 300 which is the address of Matthew. So now when we say first node, second node and third node, they are all references to these address. First node is a reference to the address 100, second node is a reference to the address 200 and third node is a reference to the address 300. So when we created a last node, it was only a reference to the address 300. And when we said delete the last node, we only deleted that reference. But what we actually wanted to do was the next of Ben was supposed to be changed to type none instead of having it point to Matthew. So how do we do that? So before we advance to the next node in each step, we need to store the previous node. So let me have previous node equal to last node and then advance it. So once that's done, we need to dereference that particular address of the previous node. So in your previous node dot next, change it to none and that should do it for you. So now let's save this program and execute it to see if the connection has been broken. And yes, it has. So that's the end of this lecture. You've learned how to delete a node from the end of the linked list. I'll see you in the next lecture where you will learn how to delete the head node. Thank you.